All I wanna do is live it up with the homies Everybody really talking ass if they know me But I guess I gotta face it I'm so tired of being faceless I don't wanna keep on waiting So, you see the thing is Your boy, me Is what these people in the modern age of society call Shredded Don't believe me? Take a look for yourself So, as you guys can see from that video I've just shown you, I'm very proud of my body so far in my fitness journey and I want to share some secrets to my diet with you guys and like some stuff I have not told anyone before. But before I say anything here guys, understand, understand, a lot of this stuff right is not scientific in the sense where I haven't gone and researched it and been like this is what it is, whatever. So if you have any problems with it and you feel like there's some things where I did not explain stuff accurately and there's some scientific faults or whatever drop a comment down below because we're all learning here so I'm not saying I'm some scientist I'm diet nutritionist whatever this is just me and some stuff that's helped me cut weight and also gain weight right by just doing stuff naturally one thing you guys should know about me right is I'm completely 100% 1002% natural yeah I don't take any supplements and I don't judge you if you take that right that's just your preference I'm not really a person that takes that because for my judo there's some substances that if it's found in your blood I'll be disqualified and can't compete internationally yeah so I just tend to stay away from that stuff no judgment if you do that's you if that you like it a eh, that's you but me personally I don't take any of that stuff Without further ado, further ado, further a duck diddly do. <laughs> oh, 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 it's open. <laughs> let's get straight to it, guys. Like, let's get straight to it. So, how this is going to work? I'm going to start off with breakfast here, yeah? lunch, e. Did I no? Yeah, breakfast, lunch, dinner, yeah, and some snacks that I hit every like hour minute whenever I'm feeling hungry and with our first meal of the day or first item of the day we have apples guys every single day I buy about uh, not every single day every single week I buy about four packets of these four packets of apples and the thing is that why this has helped me so much is that I have a sweet tooth here yeah, and I love eating like sweets and stuff like that but that obviously I can't do that because I'm on a diet it doesn't help you when you eat sugar pretty much triggers insulin which pretty much carries water and what 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 and what 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 sign stuff no good sweet no good but by substituting all my sweet stuff with apples right I still get the pleasure of the sweet taste but still it's so healthy yeah. so pretty much in a day I can have about eight apples per day yeah? and that helps me a lot when cutting because I stay away from any sweets or anything that's really just gonna trick insulin and thus fat storage stuff like that so apples that's the first item on the list I'm gonna write this all down below but take a note whenever you feel like eating something sweet get some apples So pretty, it's pretty much now just cutting our apples, right? And the main thing you need to understand, right, is that your diet should comprise of something that is nice to you. Yeah. Because I see a lot of people thinking that a diet is completely disgusting, You're eating stuff that isn't nice. Like, obviously, you find certain stuff disgusting, right? So, if I smile, I've got this young bread guy in my ear. But, anyways, guys, um, you need to find something that's actually nice to you. So, for me, it's apples, yeah. Another thing that's really nice for me here. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, so here we've got some prime raspberries. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, we've got some raspberries here, some blueberries, 
so good, so good. So I got some blueberries here, I got some raspberries. What I'm pretty much gonna do is I'm just gonna put this all into a bowl, put some muesli inside of it, and just make a nice breakfast cereal type of thing here. So here's another important thing guys, like legit a very important thing, right? So granola, obviously this is most probably what you put inside of your amazing fruit or whatever you have here. But the thing is that some of these like actual granola, whatever mixtures here, have quite a lot of sugar, like legit an absurd amount sometimes. So what you want to do here is when you go and you buy your cereal or whatever you want to put inside granola specifically, look at the back here and look for, it says, fat of which saturates carbohydrates of which sugar here. And let's say it says per 100 grams, right? What I do is it. If it says 100 grams of sugar, divide that by four, yeah. If you divide that by four, you're gonna get the amount of sugar in teaspoons. So if it says like one, 100 grams, yeah, and you're putting 100 grams into a bowl of cereal, quick maths, I even feel like doing maths, but <laughs> I'll put the number up, it's a lot of sugar. Stay away from that stuff and keep it clean, most probably. What you can also do is just substitute any granola, simple oats, yeah boil this up, put it inside, uh, make an actual oat porridge, whatever, that's like the best thing to do. Sunlight that always stays, dinner by the waterway, it's that sweet life, raise your cross, made some... Some raspberries, we've got some blueberries, and some apple, so so amazing, the bomb. I was about to start speaking French. Anyways, this is our bowl right now. This is what I'm gonna eat in the morning. Pretty much every single day, this is what I have. If I don't have this, I just have one of these fruits um, in the form of an actual fruit, like I won't cut it up, but this is perfect to start off the day. guys so a quick talk right about my diet I'm actually gonna eat while talking to you guys hope you guys don't mind so quick the fruit vegetables are very important in terms of cutting your weight you feel me here uh, and now in the second part lunch I'm um, lunch breakfast lunch and dinner I'm gonna talk more about the protein side of it because that's a very important part of it here and if you don't eat meat mm -hmm, and you're like a vegan or something like that. It's still okay because there are lots of fruits and vegetables which offer the same protein benefits uh, like actual meat does. So before we actually get to the actual cooking, I've never really been a big, uh, bulky, muscly guy. Uh, I guess in certain stages of my life, people could say that, yeah, I look big for my age or whatever, but nah, I've always just generally on the skinny side, leaner side, and never really try to gain muscle. But a big part of gaining muscle was the gym, yeah, and I'm going to make a full video on each exercise that I've done over the years that actually help with that because that's a big part of it. And one major thing you need to notice uh, or realize about yourself is that you respond differently to different foods and different exercises. So this fruit that I'm eating right now may help you, may not help you. So it's just about preference and finding what you like, yeah, and just research a bit more by yourself here yeah. don't be fooled by a lot of these guys on like tiktok and stuff don't get me wrong a lot of it might but good information but you just need to find the right stuff try it out see if it works yeah never really been a big guy i'm actually blessed to be in this point of my life where i can actually help you guys 
uh, reach a physique even better or similar to mine. I just really love my physique. And yeah, so let's keep on eating this fruit. And I'm gonna eat that banana. I know some sus people in the chat. Uh, <laughs> mm. One more thing. You find as you go on with your diet, you start to accommodate it more. Like your body starts to accommodate it more in the sense that if you eat healthy food for about a month, two months, the moment you eat something unhealthy like McDonald's or KFC or something that's processed a lot, your body's immediately gonna wanna like take it out your body. Like you feel like you wanna throw up, like it won't be sitting well with your body and you know that you're on the right track. So guys, it's a big commitment. Commitment you make with yourself. Eat foods that are nice, foods that are nice to you. Don't force yourself to eat stuff that you don't like, but the stuff you have to eat. So if you don't like fruit, vegetables, Unfortunately, that's how the cookie crumbles, but yeah. Why did I eat it like that? That was weird. Ah, oh, no way. Why did I just eat it like that? That was, that was strange, bro. Oh, no. Anyways, guys, let's get straight to lunch now. the bulking segment I would say or the bulking part of what I've been doing so with your bulk you need to be very careful here yeah? you don't want to do what they call a dirty bulk here yeah? a dirty bulk is let me show you what so a dirty bulk right is pretty much junk food right chips sweets and like as much junk as you can get into your body as possible and the reason why I'm so against this is because it actually messes up so many, just so much of like your body composition here. Yeah? And if you've done dirty bulking, it's worked for you, cool. But I do not recommend it. I did not do it personally at all, and I stay away from that stuff, guys. And personally, my opinion, stay away from the sweets and anything artificial. Move away from it, right? Check your sugar contents. That's a big thing. Anyways, back to dinner, right? We've got some meat. Yeah, 15% fat, yeah. Obviously another thing is that if you wanna cut weight, stay away from stuff with a lot of fat. But also with me, I've got a fast metabolism. If you have a fast metabolism, a lot of fatty foods, uh, naturally fatty foods are not a problem, right? If you're a person who has a very slow metabolism, you wanna try and stay away from as much fat as you can, yeah. So if it says 15% fat, uh, I'll try and go to 5% if it's there. But just try to stay away from anything that actually has quite a bit of fat here. So I would say chicken, your lean food like chicken is really good for people that have a very slow metabolism because the fat content isn't as high as some of these other foods. So don't fact check me, fact check me if you want, but that's just me. So hey, let's cook this food up right now. Yeah. Okay, so we normally would have had a very cinematic cinematic cooking transition but I need to explain to you guys what I'm putting into my food so right I've got a mince here right the 
what our extra virgin olive oil here yeah, that's another thing when you're cooking try new stuff like olive oil because honestly the other stuff is very unhealthy so i tend to stick to extra virgin olive oil or virgin olive oil doesn't really matter but stay away from any other oils that are a bit shady like sunflower oil and you know like the i have to do more research but yeah i usually use extra virgin olive oil So I like being very simple with my recipes. I've got some garlic powder over here from Tesco's. I've got some Chinese five spice seasoning, which is absolutely tough. And then we've got this, which is bullseye original barbecue sauce. Absolutely. So pretty much gonna take this, put it over on top. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Take a lot of powder. Spice it. Then, my favorite ingredient, soy sauce. Doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, light, dark, doesn't really matter. That's all you So right now I've got some Ben's original whole grain sponsor your boy if you're seeing this. Whoa, wait, my ears out the frame. There we go. Alright guys, so right now I'm gonna eat my I'm gonna gonna <laughs> I'm gonna eat my wrap here. Honestly. I didn't want to show you guys the inside of this wrap because it looked completely atrocious. Like it looked so bad. Like, here's a picture, but hey, yeah, that was that did not look great. So, anyways, let's talk about the diet so far since we're having lunch right now. So we can have a dinner date. Oh no, 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 sure, sure. Not that easy. <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, so pretty much, yeah. It doesn't look great on the inside, but it has a great taste. Just like no, I was about to say just like me. That was gonna be mad, mad weird and completely defeating the whole point of life. But anyways, so with your diet, I'm gonna give you guys some tips, right? And use this video as a base to kick off to other videos that go into more depth with your diet, right? My tips I'm gonna give you just a simple three tips. Tip numero uno. Tip number one. Get your friend family member, whoever's close to you, involved in your diet, right? This is so important because you by yourself here are probably a very self-disciplined person and that's cool. But when you have someone else to hold you accountable for what you're eating and what you're doing, you'll find you make so much more progress. Me personally, right? Young Brad, you know Gerald, my boy, my brother, my G, my own, my dude here. He pretty much is the same as me. We watch what we eat all the time. We make sure we're not eating sweets, no fizzy drinks, nothing that's gonna pretty much ruin our face, face, how faces, because obviously a lot of that stuff gives you acne and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of that food makes you gain weight. So we stay away from that. Like he's always telling me a hey, salad, a hey, when I have uh, some good protein today, what are you eating? Yo, this is my supper, it sends me pictures and like vice versa. It's always good, yeah. And that has kept me on point, right? Along with my actual uh, training diet. So you need a friend. Now, tip. Tip, duh. tip number two. Track what you eat, guys. Buy a journal, a book, piece of paper, whatever. I prefer a journal. So you can write down each meal that you eat, yeah. At first, it's gonna seem very monotonous, right? It's like, oh, writing down this meal, this meal, this meal. But it helps you keep track, yeah? And you can pretty much stop whenever you feel you want to stop. What this helps you do, right, is pretty much understand all the meals you're eating. And when you go back, you can see the improvement that, hey, dude, last week I ate like 15 salads, bro. That's pretty mad. Like, I was on point with my diet. And you can track. And you can see, okay, last week I ate, let's say, three pieces of bread, four pieces of bread, right? And my advancement in my fat, uh, my fat reduction journey, right, is that it wasn't helping. So I'm going to use two. I'm going to eat two pieces of bread, and so on and so on. That just really helps you understand. If you want to go into more depth, you can go into what they call macro calories, which is absolutely 
Insane, it's cool, but pretty much it's an app that tracks all of your calories. It's called Trifecta. I'm not sponsored by them, but I personally use them a lot in the beginning of my journey for gaining weight here yeah, and also losing a bit of weight. I'm gonna link them down below, get the app, track your calories. They have all the food you just pretty much list it down and like tap on the food item and you pretty much get a good journal going on your phone, which is absolutely dope. Trifecta. You know where your boy's at. <laughs> Anyways, next tip. Tip number three, my boy. Oh, gosh. Tip number three, my boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, before I fell over and did... Ah. Before I fell over and did something dumb. Tip number three. Be very easy on yourself, my guy, my girl, whoever you are. You are doing amazing. You've gotten this far in your fitness journey to understand that you need to have a change in your life or you want to change. And that's already amazing enough. Same thing for if you go to the gym. Guys, just stepping into the gym is a huge achievement, guys, because a lot of people feel very anxious and very scared. And you going there is a big milestone in your life. And I'm just personally proud of you guys. Like, legit, no cap, no other funny stuff. I'm really proud of you guys for starting this journey or even just clicking on this video, even if you're not going to follow. Super proud of you guys. Be nice to yourself, right? Do not starve yourself. Do not be a person who pretty much doesn't eat because they feel like they have to lose their weight it's not going to help you're going to feel weak you won't be able to go to gym make sure that you're eating a good amount of food cut off your junk food this is the one thing i'm going to tell you like straight up junk food throw it out the window yeah okay right now i look like a sith from star wars but hey just got back from judo training and i'm going to eat a bowl of rice that i made obviously rice mince some cucumbers, I've got a whole packet of I mean, whole packet of vegetables which I'm probably gonna eat one time. And yeah, I think that's the end of this video guys. Um not much to talk about. Uh your diet guys, it's it's very important to eat healthy food, yeah. But it's also very important to understand your situation and how you handle food, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is that if you have any specific uh questions, please drop them down below. Be very specific and drop it down below and I'll most probably DM you uh, an actual response uh, so I can send a voice note or something about that about the diet and hear what you guys are talking about because some people have different metabolisms eat different stuff for vegans but hey I'm more than happy to help you more than happy to help guys so send a comment down below and I will get to it and I'll do my best to actually send you an actual voice note in like an actual program if you want here yeah. So guys, much love. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. It's been your boy Mad Stroke. It's been a diet thing. Yeah, next up, gonna hit your workout video for you guys. So appreciate the love and the support. So yeah, gonna hit my meal. Gonna do what I need to do. Catch you guys when I do. Oh, boss. Boss, 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 boss. Anyways, guys, nothing else to say. Much love. Catch you guys. Yeah. All I wanna do is live it up with the homies Everybody really talking as if they know me But I guess I gotta face it I'm so tired of being faceless I don't wanna keep on wasting life yeah. 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 I'm drowning in my head, I'm losing the mind